Brunswick pin setter is designed to turn off under two different conditions normally. Anytime the turret is lifted up, it'll shut off from a blackout switch on the back side that I'll show you in a minute. Or anytime there's anything that interferes with the movement of the moving deck when it's setting pins. When it tries to shift forward, there's a pin jammed in there. It's going to pull a cable. It's going to also interrupt a switch, which will turn the pin setter off. This prevents the pin setter from breaking your turret frame or your moving deck anytime there's a jam in either situation. just experienced is a blackout on the Brunswick pin setter. This video will show you how to clear the blackout. As you notice we got a bunch of pins jammed up here in the front and if you also notice the turret right here has been lifted up just enough off of its stops. This is the deck jam blackout switch right here. If you notice the spring is all the way pulled down Normally that X washer that you see there is at the top of the slot instead of the bottom. There's a micro switch all the way at the top of that slot that you see that X washer is lined up with the pin on the other side. It should be up against that micro switch at the top that you see. There's also a turret jam blackout switch right here. And if you notice, the switch is actually off the head of the bolt just enough. So we had a turret jam blackout situation. You'll find the turret jam blackout switch underneath the cross conveyor, directly below the micro switch for the pin gate. First thing you want to do before you ever touch a pin setter in a situation like this, pull the plug, always. And just to be sure, turn the breaker off, which I've already got it out, but make sure that breaker's off. Now, after you've pulled the plug on the electrical box and turn off the breaker, you want to identify the best situation of clearing your blackout. If it involves a crowbar or a two x four, you probably don't need to be working on a Brunswick pin setter. You might want to get a little training from somebody. Then also, you want to make sure before you start cranking that machine backwards that you do have the power off or else you're going to have a story to tell for the rest of your life about why you don't have any fingers on one hand. The pin setter is not hard to work on. It's just you got to be safe and careful before you do anything to hurt yourself. Just ask the cake boss about that. Now that we've identified that we have a deck jam and a turret jam, we need to run the machine backwards to get everything cleared. Based on the Brunswick pin setter, the best way to clear any deck jam is to run it backwards. So the first step, you come over here, you see the clutch is already down and the clutch stop arm is engaged here, so the machine's just gonna spin if you start trying to turn it. So what you need to do is go ahead and trip the machine, which will engage the clutch. Then you grab the motor drive belt back here this one right here that goes to the gearbox itself, start cranking it backwards. Now when you start cranking it backwards, you may have to come down here and lift up on the deck holding hook to keep it from grabbing the deck or else it's not gonna go down and it won't, won't give any room to work on anything. So as you crank it down, you wanna watch that deck holding hook I'm going to start cranking it backwards here. You see that the deck is starting to work its way down and it's just about to grab. So you're going to have to hold up on that at the same time. And I'm, going to, I'm going to start cranking the deck down now by grabbing that belt that I showed you a minute ago and I'm going to hold up on the hook at the same time. Once you get it past that certain point right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start cranking the machine backwards from that same drive belt that goes to the gearbox. If you notice, the deck is slowly going back down again, basically reversing its action that caused the jam in the first place. And by reversing the action, 
It relieves the pressure on the moving deck or lowers the turret back down where the pins got jammed and lifted the turret up and hit one of the two blackout switches. Then you can go down and clear all your pins and get the machine back on. Now, if you notice up front here, now that we cranked it down, we got the turret is now sitting on the jam nut here. So the pressure's off the turret. You got three pins in here. Plus you got the other three pins that are causing the deck jam. Go ahead and pull them out. And everything is now clear. You wanna make sure you get all 10 pins out of the deck. If you have any other pins in there, you wanna make sure everything's clear because we turn it back on, you're gonna jam it up again. So make sure all 10 pins are clear. Come out here. Look underneath, make sure you don't have any pins hanging out the bottom of the machine because sometimes some of them can get caught up in the lower deck in the spotting fingers and that's a little bit tougher to get loose. Then we'll go back up top, turn everything back on. Okay, now we're back up top. We're gonna go ahead and put the power plug back in. Gonna turn the breaker back on. And yes, I know my electrical box faces forward because this is a 3690 serial number pin setter, one of the first Brunswick pin setters ever made. And they had the electrical boxes on facing forward on the first pin setters. Now that I got everything back on, I have my override switch in the back here turned off. When we turn it back on, everything should come back on because both switches are now cleared. Everything's back to normal again. There's the turret blackout switch it is now in full contact of the micro switch if you notice. Also if you notice the deck jam micro switch is back up to the top and you can see the spring and that switch is now lined up with the roll pin on the top the next washer. So that's this normal position. But that is the way to safely clear a blackout situation on a Brunswick A and A2 type pin setter also the jet back. Hope you got something from this. Thanks for watching and send me some requests i can do some other videos for you and watch us live usually on saturday or sundays usually two o'clock central time we bowl live take requests and do some other fun stuff so tune in and watch us sometime